approaching City of Rocks State Park in New Mexico. And we've got the camper in tow. Our goal is to stay here, and I didn't book a site ahead of time. This is unusual, where we're just gonna walk in and see what they have available. And the reason why is because, oh wow, look at the rocks over there. Okay, the reason why is because I had read some not great views about the sites, how they're not all the same, they're not a level, some people have bought them out, and um, I thought maybe it's just best to see what's available before I commit to a site. And I looked online and there were some that were available. So we just are gonna go in and walk and scope them out and hopefully get a site. It's $10 here for boondocking sites and there are electric and water sites for $14 a night. So there is one electric site left. And we decided to just take that because it's gonna be super cold and it would just be easier. But we're walking around and look how cool this site is. This is number 12. So cool. Check out this one. This one's pretty cool. But it had a picnic table and a fire pit tucked in between the rocks. Number 16. You're going with a couple people. This is a cool spot. This is number 18 and 19 right here. Site number 26, Pisces. Cool little site too. One of the few sites here I think with trees. They do have, I think it's five and a half miles of walking trails here. And some of these trails go right through the center of the rocks. The campground or these campers are all around the rocks but just walking around this campground looking at all the different sites is super cool too and checking out these rock formations so cool here i can see why people say that they wish they would have spent more time here so i think i would not have wanted to book number 30. this is a really long driveway that you'd have to back up to and i think it would just be too much trouble. It's pretty cool though. Here's like 34 that we could have booked. It's pretty big. The guy said it's pretty nice because the sun sets right across this way. But the downfall is the wind also comes from this direction. Something cool about this park is that you can go within the rocks and explore and climb all over them. Come on, Carl, don't be afraid. Do you see what I see? I see an easy way to get up. Oh yeah. a little view of the city of rocks unfortunately they are a no drone zone park so i can't get a super awesome aerial video so i found a cool site so you take this little drive up here it's a little steep and then this site right here, 43. If you had a trailer or something, you 
you just back it in. It's a bit narrow between this little rock mound and the wall, but you have awesome fireplace, fire pit, and in here is your picnic table. And your view. How cool is that? This place is like a labyrinth. It's not hard to see. There's that picnic table I just showed you. But it's not hard to see why people who come here love it and wish that they just spend more time here. Just something about being amongst these monoliths, these giant boulders in the middle of desert. It's just so cool. Right now I think we're walking through the trail that cuts through the middle of the rocks. Not really super sure. We're just kind of exploring and that's what you do here. I'm literally on my way to get my camera. My camera is right there. But this cool owl is right here. They must live here, and so I feel like I have good opportunity to find them again. This guy is huge. We were like looking all over for it. It's like, oh my god. It's a beautiful morning here at City of Rocks. The sun is rising. It's about quarter to eight in the morning. And you would probably guess that it's very warm right now, but it's 17 degrees. Colder than it is at home. We are back this morning wandering on the inside of the city. Super cool. It's 37 degrees out sunny and in true fashion really windy today here's another cool campsite it's pretty big actually you have this whole area to yourself and your fire pit is tucked up in the rocks Pretty cool. This is three, non electric. I seem to have lost my hiking partner. I get distracted and stop to take a lot of video. And he keeps moving, which is normal and fine. Except it's hard to find the trail. And now I am lost in the city of rocks. And I can't hear anything to hear footsteps. I found my hiking partner. I was so worried. I'm coming, Kyle. Oh, I'm so glad he found me. I didn't know what to do. I was trying to have that relationship intuition of which way would my spouse have gone. And I was completely wrong. But Carl knew where I would be. And he found Worried. 
together again. We can proceed with the hike. Yeah, is he scared? Yeah. Was a little nervous. Why? Well, I just want to hike with you. Then and you stay with me. Well, I was, I get distracted, I know. you know, I and... I'm holding out lost in the city rocks, so I used to find my iPhone. Oh my god. In the right direction. That's hilarious. Got me close. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Chloe needs an air tag because she likes to wander away from the group. <laughs> Where she got that from. <laughs> we are currently walking on the Hydra Trail up to this overlook at the campground. The Pegasus Loop is over here and the rest of it is over here. You can barely even see it because these rocks are in the way. We made it to the top of the observation point and here we have a super cool view of the city of rocks. You see how weird it is? Just a giant pile of rocks in the middle of nothing. And they're super big too. So we've seen numerous rattlesnake warnings for this park. Uh, we're here in January, so it's plenty cold. We will probably not see one, but we have been told that there are numerous sightings uh, all summer long. So just be very careful when you're here. Be very conscious of where you put your feet in your hands. Don't put your feet in your hands anywhere you wouldn't put your feet. We arrived! <laughs> Believe it or not, this is not the shortest distance. We have moved sites at a campground before. We were not ready to leave. And we decided to stay three more nights. And we got a cool site this time. Going up to Table Mountain. From the Hydra Trail, it is 1.56 miles to get to the top. bench at least we're at so I think from our camper we climbed up somewhere between four and five hundred feet from the visitor center it's like 750 feet elevation gain it's quite a drawn to get up here so here's the city of rocks over here is the Pegasus campground and this is the main campground Here's the view of Table Mountain. The very tip top of that is where we just came from. It took us a half an hour to get down. 
because you have to go all the way around and then down. Here is my campsite, 30A, and my great horned owl just perched, protecting our site. They have great security here. That's my camper. And this is my owl. <laughs> 